I'll be dead. Check me out. <laughs> hey, Slay. This is Adam. Mr. Sessler, something in the desert has awoken. Go on. Doom marches on us from beneath the white sands. Only you hold the power to stop it. Um, you know, I really don't go in for the world saving thing. I usually hurt myself, and the world gets destroyed anyway. This is no game, Mr. Sessler. A past long buried is about to phone home. Past long buried's about to phone home. Morgan! In 1982, Atari was the king of the home console world, and it was believed that video games would be an endless supply of profit. They wanted to make a tie in with the biggest movie of all time to date, so they commissioned a man named Howard Scott Warsaw to make an E.T. the extraterrestrial game in a third of the time it usually takes to make a game. The game was a colossal bomb and is believed by many to be responsible of the great video game crash in 1984. Yeah, I remember that. In 1983, Atari had 13 tractor trailers take unsold copies of the E.T. game from their factory in El Paso, Texas to a site in El Magordo, New Mexico, when they were deposited into a landfill. And this has what to do with your phone call? Doom marches on us from the White Sands. Al Magordo is home to the White Sands testing facility where the first atomic bomb is detonated. And the E.T. connection? A past long buried is about to phone home. I'll accept that. So where do we find this landfill? Uh, I thought we'd just drive out into the desert and, you know, look for stuff. Meet you at the car. Bro, bro. <clears throat> Who the hell are you supposed to be? Amelia Earhart. Duh. Naturally. Fitness choice. What the hell is all this stuff? There's nothing in the world more helpless and irresponsible and depraved than a man in the depth of an ether binge. Ah, ah. You drive. I think there's something wrong with me. No argument here. Buy the ticket. Take the ride. Punch it, Chewy. What, you want to stop for him? We can't stop now, Morgan. This is bat country. Well, we got to stop. We're low on gas and lower on clues. Greasy spoon dead ahead. There she blows. Wonderful. Don't worry, Morgan. I'll cover you. Haven't I seen you on television? The television business is uglier than most things. It is perceived as a cruel and shallow money trench running straight through the heart of the journalism industry. It is a long plastic hallway where thieves and pimps run free and good men are left to die like dogs for no good reason. There's also a negative side. Okay. We seek knowledge, enlightenment, salvation. Yeah, a few million buried Atari cartridges. Ah, sounds like you might want a word with Mr. Spender. He used to work for Atari. Where can we find this Mr. Spender? Oh, I think you're going to have to do better than that, miss. All right. Here you go. I just meant say please, but thank you. Mr. Spender lives right out there in one of those little white houses. Which one? And today's Tuesday. Should be on the third one from the left. Okay. okay. Thank Thanks. You. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. I'll see you again real soon. Real soon. Wah. Way to give away our gas money. Uh, don't f with me now, man. I am Ahab. <sighs> what do you think? 
Yep, this seems like the residence of a former Atari employee. It's an old shoe. Mr. Spender? How did you get in here, you laser-fingered bastards? No need to get personal. It's for you to say the government doesn't have a yearly budget allocated for the acquisition of your lower teeth. This is true. Mr. Spender, over 22 years ago, several million Atari ET cartridges disappeared in a landfill somewhere in the New Mexico desert. Do you know where this site is? Yes, uh, I was on that mission. Trucks, cartridges, madness, and shadows. My God, the shadows. Mr. Spender, we need to find the cartridges. The fate of the planet may hang in the balance. Yes, yes. Here. I may not be forgiven for what I did in that desert. But now, you know. Wait, the mushroom festival back there. Do you think we can trust this? I'd have to say affirmative, dearie. Right. This must be the spot according to the cardboard. Doesn't look like any landfill I've ever seen. Ahoy. Wait up, Captain. Apos, pantos, cacos, dinamon. Rice patties. You're not evil spirits. No, no, we are the cream of the national gaming press. Whatever that's worth. I'm known on this plane. It's Alistair Crowley. The inventor of modern witchcraft? The same. Well, you don't look like an English mage. You've been dead since 1947. Well, it doesn't change as a man. You're that man from the diner. And Mr. Spender. You're frightfully annoying, honestly. Who do you think called you, Mr. Sessler? That means... It's a trap. 100 years ago, I opened a portal to another dimension in this very spot. Since then, I've been dumping the worst examples of pop culture into it. The denizens on the other side have a taste for it now. Soon, a plan a century in the making will come to pass. So the ET cartridges were actually dumped into a demonic portal? Precisely. Okay. All I need now is one last influx of worthless pop culture detractors and critical mass will be reached. Spilling forth a flood of demons, fire, and weeble movies. So what does this have to do with us? Honestly, Mr. Sessler, is there any piece of pop culture more worthless than X-Play? Damn! Now then, I'll show you where the portal is that we'll be dumping you into. This way. This is dangerous. You keep him distracted. I'm initiating Plan B. I hate Plan B. Well, it's either that or we're going to be staring down the denizens of an infernal dimension. We've been obsessively viewing the movies of Tom Green. Plan B it is. So, do you do hat tricks? <laughs> Miss Webb, I'm the great beast, not a mere illusionist. Oh, so no hat tricks then, huh? Of course I do hat tricks. But I call them hat moves. Rim and Gravy to Cobra, we have an emergency. This is Dr. Bombay. What's up, Grim Gravy? Yes, we need to activate Plan B. Warm it up in my location. My God, at that range. No choice, Cobra. Bring it in, egads. No, I do not have a rabbit in it. I thought you knew magic. I know magic. M-A-G-I-C-K. You're thinking of that David Copperfield crap. It's totally different. You just added a K on the end? Why didn't you take off the C and then add the K? That's an X-Man character. Mongoose, get ready to blow your load. Sorry, Alistair Crowley. Nobody messes with the fabric of reality as we know it in America. <laughs> Mongoose! Oh, God! No, I had nothing to do with the prequels. He screwed those up all by himself. Mm -hmm. Very clever, Mr. Sessler. A cartoon airstrike. So it comes to this. Three high-powered mutants. Too weird to live. Too rare to die. <laughs> <laughs>